Hey gang, Jane back with a quick clip on how I sew two squares together using the whip stitch. I'm going to use two of my easy breezy squares in this example. I'll be using a darning needle with a large eye so it's easy to put the yarn through and a dull point so I don't stab myself or split the yarn when I'm working through it by mistake. So let's get started. You're going to want to take two of the squares and you'll need a darning needle and a piece of yarn about 10 inches long. As a rule of thumb, I try to use three times the length of the edge I'm sewing, so this gives me lots to play with. Place the two squares face up beside each other. Start by inserting your needle underneath the bottom corner, which in this case is a chain three space, of the left square, and bring it through and up. Then back down into the bottom corner of the right square. Then back up one more time on the left, same bottom corner as before. Then to secure our yarn, take your needle under the loop you just created and pull it through. Give it a little snug pull, but not too tight. Now working our way up the squares, insert the needle down into the next stitch, front to back, on the right square making sure you go under both loops of the edge stitch. Then back up through the corresponding stitch on the left square, again under both loops. Pull secure, but not too tight. Then repeat this again for each stitch as you work your way up the edges. This seam creates a nice secure join, but no extra bulk. I like to work it in the main color for a seamless appearance. Continue until you reach the opposite corner, at which point you'll stitch through the chain three corner spaces as before, and then secure your yarn by going underneath the last loop and give a little tug, just like when we started. And that's it, a simple and quick way to join your squares with a nice double-sided smooth appearance. Thanks for joining me in this quick tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. Have a great day crocheting and enjoy.